Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Guess With... who this is? <laughs> it's Monday, so it must be Merle and Patty. <laughs> yes, we have to always say we want to tag. Yes. Um, so everybody survived Oscar week. It was kind of crazy in town. Um, lots of great things to do if you could get there because of the traffic. <laughs> right, exactly. But it was fun. Lots so of fun. Some people who weren't on a red carpet just stayed home. <laughs> <laughs> and some people struggled through the traffic to get to the red carpet because some of us were lucky. <laughs> lucky, lucky, lucky. lucky. And uh, forever grateful. Yes. Hi, Karen. Yeah. Love you, Karen. Hi, Karen. Um, <laughs> anyway, what is this? This is Monday morning with Merle and Patty. Where we and dead on us, and it came back just, on us. Just, we always going to ignore that. We're going to ignore that. Yes. Okay, so we didn't do a thing, say a thing. <laughs> so anyway, so the, our topic today is developing our dating skill set. So for those of you, I guess I should say, since I'm not really dating my skill set, whatever. Her uh, husband gets so mad <laughs> no. when she goes out dating, and she's so good at it. <laughs> So, uh, yes, so those of you, that you should know that you can't sit at home and think about how nice you have to get out there and you have to date. And actually, I think there's some things to do before you date or in order to date or just to get out that's more important than dating or step one, should I say, is meeting people. And before you meet people, you, you, you have to meet just people in general. And then somebody has a brother-in-law, somebody has a friend, somebody has whatever. But I think it starts from within. You have to have a feeling of I want to be out among people. I, I want to connect. <laughs> and the thing goes trying to connect as she says that. Oh, God. <laughs> Technology has a good, bad sense of humor. So I think really relationship and connection is clearly there's a connection. <laughs> so re in instead of... Instead of saying, I don't care, instead of saying, it's not important to me, instead of saying, figure out anything that is outside of your house. Yes, anything. It doesn't have to be a dating thing. If you're a scared of clubbing or trolling or online, just take, a, take an adult class, take a meetup group, take an art class, something you've always wanted to do for you. That's the best place you're gonna meet people in a great, easy setting. Plus, you'll be working on yourself, and you'll be that much better and that much happier. And when you're happier, you meet better people. Right. That, that, that's really true, because yeah. you can't, you can't uh, be planning to meet someone to make you happy. You have to make yourself happy so that you can attract somebody that will make you happy happier <laughs> because you smell different even if you don't smell i, I always say because i see the way i see Wait. energy yeah, you smell good <laughs> but you will when you are satisfied with yourself and you're not just home moping or feeling sorry for yourself or afraid to get out there fear the of people being afraid fear is underrated fear can be a great thing not fear because somebody's showing putting a gun at you or telling you to jump off a cliff but that little bit i'm nervous that's the same energy vibration level that kind of fear and angst can be turned into excitement. It's the same thing as it. So that little bit of, oh gosh, I'm afraid to get out. I'm going to go out with my, whatever it's, that is. It's an adventure. It's Getting an adventure. out is an adventure. Decide it's excitement and instead of fear. Yes. It's a million dollar industry. Go yeah. for it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Or when, I mean, there has been many times when I've gone to events and said, you know, I could just as easily have not gone. And in the past, I would have said no. Now I say yes. And I don't think about whether it's scary or anxiety. I just don't think about that. I think about the event, and I think about what I'm going to wear. <laughs> <laughs> 
And that's all that matters. That's it. <laughs> no, but there's such great things to do. No matter where you live. We well, we live in Hollywood, so there's lots of things to do. But we and we go up to Lake Hollywood every day. We work out. And Saturday there was there, and we have our own little group of people. Everyone's welcome to come. Come on down. But Saturday there was a meetup group. My God, it must have been 30, 40 people. And they were just there to walk around the lake. All ages, all genders, all everything. And I was thinking, like, what a great thing. Somebody wants to get a little more exercise, wants to get a little more out in nature. It seemed like a, a, it was obviously a safe place, a fun place, a comfortable place. There's a million of those. And this yes. was just a walking meetup group. Yes. It wasn't a, yes. a dating site, but... People right. talked in a comfortable way, and they slowly walked three and a half miles around the lake. Right, right. So, uh, and they have hiking, uh, I, I can't remember the name of the... Uh, Sierra Club does Sierra hikes. Sierra Club, exactly, does hikes. So, it, that could be something. Some people surf, so it doesn't matter what it is, it, as long as you like doing it. Yeah, and if you don't know if you like doing it, try it anyway. That's right. I Take a class. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, and you're talking about skill set. I, I, well, the thing is to try not to do is when you're going out, don't take all your baggage with you. Whether you're going out on your own to meet somebody or you've actually got that date with somebody, they set you up with the brother-in-law. Try to leave all your old relationships behind you. No, they're not going to be like your ex who was an idiot. No, they're not going to be this. No, it's a whole new person. Have a whole new perspective. We carry, we, you know, show up. I think, I just picture in my head showing up for the first date with all your luggage packed. Right. <laughs> leave it home. <laughs> and, you know, some people have this sense of, well, I'm just being honest. I, I believe in being honest. And sometimes, honestly, the best thing to do is to be quiet. <laughs> I have issues with men. Da, 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 da. I don't want to kind of start there. My ex was an idiot. Men are all idiots. I don't want to come back. <laughs> and that's, even if you're dating same sex and you do that. Women are all idiots. <laughs> Equal opportunity idiots. <laughs> So, so that's that's part of your skill set, and he, when we say skill set, I think it's more like developing a muscle, because if you start doing things that you prefer not to do, and do them anyway, and learn how to do them in a way that actually gives you some satisfaction okay you didn't meet a guy but you had a great hike <laughs> you know or you met some nice people right um or you um join uh, the republican club or the democrat club and get involved with people that you absolutely agree with and absolutely disagree with <laughs> join them both <laughs> Chaos. <laughs> yeah. But doing something that is a little bit of a stretch for you is good. It's good. It's developing a good social skill. And if there's anything that whether you end up with somebody or not, it will keep you young. It will keep you involved. It will keep you healthy. And thank you, Nicole. Nicole there. And I, oh, thank you, everybody who's on there. We're seeing you, Hugh and Rocky. And Nicole, everyone's problems comes out in the relationship. No one ever shows true colors while dating. Yeah, but give it a minute. You don't have to show out all your reports. <laughs> you know, put a little cover up on just for a while. <laughs> At least to figure out if you like each other first. I, 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 I wouldn't say that you're covering up. I would say... That, that everyone is a flower and and that it takes a while to uncover all the petals of a flower, whether it's you or the person you're dating. And so don't, don't expect to get to the, to the, I forget what you call it, the stamen or something, the inside of the flower, just the first time you look at it. I don't expect to take a quick whiff and think you've gotten the whole thing of that flower. That's not fair. That's not fair to yourself. 
and that's not fair to the other person. And so take the time to, to uh, uncover your different parts of your personality, both, both yourself and the person you're with. Revealing the flower slowly. Does, doesn't that sound nice? <laughs> yes. It's better than saying, I didn't know he didn't do this. And oh my God, he, you know, he never told me that. And well, I'm not going to go on a date without makeup on. But, and I don't look like that when I wake up. <laughs> you know... Little steps at a time. <laughs> they see you that first morning. <laughs> see, by the time he sees me like that, he's already in love. He's already in love. <laughs> um, but just get out, get out, get out. Wherever you live, wherever you are. Don't sit home and wish. Don't sit home and watch TV. You know, people doing lives that you want to have. Um, even if you're not interested in a relationship, get out. Right. And don't, don't be judging, really. Don't, um, well, people that judge are very defensive. They're trying to, they're trying to make sure that they don't give themselves any, any, any extra little bit to somebody until they're really sure. You can take a little risk. You can... Give a little bit of yourself and see how it goes before you give a... I mean, I'm not saying you just fall all over somebody. I'm saying you take it a little bit at a time and understand that he or she is doing the same thing. What one thing can we do to make dating fun? Hmm. We're stumped. No, <laughs> no, I think it's, a, it's your mindset. Is decide it's going to be fun. Decide. I mean, it's not rocket science. You're not going to go in on the head. You don't like them. You spent an afternoon or an evening with somebody. The one thing to do is, is decide this is fun. I don't know what I'm getting into. That sense of adventure. Um, or, you know, or it not having to be. Every date you go on doesn't have to be the one. Yeah. So it can just be, oh, this is a new person. And if you enjoy meeting new people, learning new things, then that's fun. And just don't make it too important. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's really good. And then if you want to create your own game about it, you can do what is your 10 things you look for, and then you can have a little giggle along the way. Oh, he looked me in the eye. There's two points. You know, if you, want, <laughs> if you need something to take, make your mind, you make engaged. it more fun, create a game. Um, <laughs> hmm, I have work? to think I about that. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, you don't have your points left. He opens the door for me. He doesn't open the door for me. Um, and uh, I was wondering if you could do that with him and say, "Listen, I like to, this is a game I like to play." Plus, I'm gonna. I have about ten things that are important to me. That I'm like. I you you held the door open. And I check that off. And what ten things do you have? I might, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You so, have to so play yeah, with what, that. what do you like? Again, and ask questions. Get to, you, you know, get to know each other. Just make it That's easy. That's it. So she, you know, Elena understands our language. Yes. Yeah, what we said was just be in the moment without any expectations. Yes. That's the one thing that will make your dating fun. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna die if it doesn't go well. You're not gonna die if it does go well. You're not gonna <laughs> die. Uh, yeah, and then oh, there's lots of stuff. Or we were talking to as we solve the problems of the world. Sebastian last week, who's Sebastian Van Houten. He's king of the vampires. He's this <laughs> he's this beautiful man who, when we're talking about opening the door, it's 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 he's like teaching chivalry and things to people. It's like. Are, we, are you comfortable with somebody opening the door for you? Does that make you feel bad? Does that make you feel good? We do live in crazy times. In these Me Too times, you don't know. Do you touch? Do you don't touch? Do you ask permission to touch the elbow? Like corporate things do. So there's lots to figure out along the way. Just don't make it crazy. Right, right, right. Don't, yes, yes. So like like when we were talking to Sebastian, when I first started dating, I didn't like when Nathan opened the door because I was a liver. A woman's liver. <laughs> and and then find somewhere along the line, I don't know how long we were married, I said, what? 
why why wouldn't it be okay if you open the door? And then I yelled at him. I said, why don't you open the door? Because you hit me every time I did. <laughs> so I managed to switch it around. <laughs> yeah. You can learn together as you go. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, I, think, I think we said it. I think we've said everything there is to say. <laughs> so come back next Monday at 11 a.m. Pacific time for Monday Morning with Merle and Patty. Mm -hmm. um, you can find me at pattynegri.com, Facebook Patty Negri, Patty Negri Psychic Medium, Instagram, Twitter, follow us. And we have a singles class coming up again soon, our single ladies class. Right. Uh, it's coming at the end. Uh, the, the first session is, I think, March 31st. And then the next uh, two two weeks. So, um, and we will have a flyer on that very 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 soon. <laughs> Meaning we don't have it right now. Yeah. But where can they find you, Miss Merle? They can find me at uh, relationshipmiracleworker dot com. You can find me on all Instagram and all those things under. It's either under Merle Singer or Merle M Singer. So. Find me everywhere and buy my book, Cracking the Relationship Code. It's quite good, and it's written nicely in my style. So, <laughs> if you can't stand me now, don't, don't get buy the, the book. book. <laughs> <laughs> buy the book. It's a good book. <laughs> and, uh, thank you guys for listening. Have a great week. It's Monday. The whole week is ahead. Get out. Have fun, whatever your relationship status. Amen. Bye. Bye.